Hi guys, Dorothy here, professional astrologer. Today I'm going to talk to you about the week of August 12th. That includes Sun-Venus conjunction, full moon in Aquarius, and something else going on in declination. Really special thing this week. I'll get to that at the very end of the forecast, but it will definitely help you out if you are in a creative block right now. So I'm going to fill you in on all of those things. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. And we're in my house. I have no air conditioning and it's like 90 here and I'm like, ha oh. So the shades are down. I don't have my studio lights on. So it's gonna be a little, uh, a little more subdued. I hope you don't mind. All right, so Monday the 12th, we have the moon in Capricorn and it basically just means we're gonna start the week off actually ready and raring to go. That Capricorn moon wants us to be disciplined and wants us to work hard. And we usually don't mind working hard at the things that we need to do. I'll be freshly back from a vacation on that point. So I will take advantage of this because, you know, whenever we take a week off or more, we tend to have a hard time getting back into the sink of things. So this Monday will be a good time to get back into the sink of things. So moving on to um, Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So August 13 and August 14, the moon is in the sign of Aquarius. It's waxing at this point and it is going to be full on Thursday morning. But while it is in Aquarius and the aspects that it's making, it is inviting us to be creative. It's inviting us to step outside our comfort zones, to either fixate, get really fixed on what it is that we're thinking about and processing, or to break out of old patterns and old habits so we're able to experience new things. So we have that going on on Tuesday and Wednesday and into the full moon. I'll give you more about that in a second because I want to also talk about for Wednesday, the, um, what's Wednesday? Wednesday the 14th, we have Venus in Leo and the Sun in Leo in a conjunction with each other. And this is a wonderful opportunity to feel more passionate and really take a risk if you're interested, if you're in a relationship. It's just an opportunity for us to really take an opportunity and a risk of the heart. That's what we really want you to do with Venus and Leo. She loves to have attention and with the Sun in Leo, which is all about expressing the ego. So Wednesday is a really fun and interesting day in that regard. All right. So moving on to the full moon and it is at a little, a little after eight in the morning. Let me get my book. It's at 830 in the morning on the Thursday, the 15th. So with this full moon, it's inviting us to engage more in social activities, social groups, in uh, friendships, things such as that. So when we have a full moon, it's energy that's culminating. And as energy is culminating, that means it's building to a peak. And while the moon is full in the morning, that doesn't matter, that energy is still present. So are you being, are, are you being pulled or drawn to join a group or be part of a group or really just to engage more in a group or social environment? that you've just been sort of sitting on the fence about? If so, you might feel like the final push to go do that. That's one thing that this full moon can do. Now, the other thing a full moon does is it illuminates what's going on in our lives. And if you've been too, doing too many of these things, you've, you've volunteered for too many groups and you just have way too much on your plate, then a full moon can make it so we suddenly make change our minds and stop doing things so it tends to be that things culminate to a point where we have to finally let go of some stuff so full moons do represent that releasing energy over the next couple of days as the moon starts to wane so that's what we have with that full moon opportunities to engage in new social and friend activities or to release the things that we're doing too much of that's Thursday. Moving on to Friday. Friday we have Mercury making a square aspect to Uranus. So Mercury in Leo, Uranus in Taurus. A lot of conversations going on here. A lot of thinking outside the box. Squares tend to, it's a fixed square, they tend to create tension so we can then make a change. 
So if you've been trying to communicate something or just really move some energy, then it can finally culminate to a certain point now and the full moon certainly will help. So you're able to really feel some release when it comes to communicating and talking and letting some things go. So that's what we have on Friday. By Saturday, the moon in Pisces helps us to feel we just want to relax and escape for the weekend. Conjuncts Neptune during the weekend as well. So that is a wonderful opportunity to do just that. Escape, relax. Now, just to let you know, if you didn't know, the written forecast is on my website, nhastrologer.com, so you can go read the forecast there. And they're not always the same. I, I come up with stuff at different times, depending on if I do the vocals first or the written first. All right, let's move on to Sunday. The news of the day is Mars entering Virgo for the next seven and a half weeks. Mars not necessarily a fan of this sign, but it can definitely, Mars is action, Virgo is focusing on the details, so it's definitely going to help us focus in on the details that are important to each and every one of us, because those details are different. Pretty soon the sun will come into, into Virgo, and will they catch up? I actually haven't looked, so I'm not positive when they'll catch up, but the point being, Mars in Virgo is encouraging us and pushing us to focus on those details and really take action in the small little things that we need to do. So that's it for the week. The one thing I wanted to talk about that's going on for the whole week is Mars and Uranus are in a parallel with each other. That's by their declination where they are out in space, not by their zodiac sign. Parallel feels like a conjunction. So throughout the whole week, these guys have been connected by this declination. And that means out of the blue, sudden unexpected things can go on and can happen. Now we have this Aquarius full moon, Uranus rules Aquarius. We have Mercury connecting to Aquarius. So we already have a lot of the feel of what's going on with Aquarius and with the planet Uranus. But Mars parallel Uranus makes us and helps us, encourages us, doesn't make us do anything, I have to change that verbiage there, but it really encourages us to step outside our comfort zones. So if you're feeling like you have a lot to do, then this is an opportunity to break away and break out of a, if you're having a creative block, you might be able to break out of that with this type of energy. If you're not quite so conscious about what's going on in your life, then this energy can feel like you've just got a lot of anxiety inside and you don't know what this energy is about and you don't know what to do with it. So if you're listening to this, find a way to use this energy in a really creative fashion. All right. So that, and that really includes the whole week of August 12th all the way to, the, to Sunday. The I forgot the date, <laughs> Sunday the 18th. Please join me on my Patreon page. That is where you can help support my work. And on my website, nhastrologer.com, I am a full-time professional astrologer, so you can go there and see all my services that I have there. Thank you for following me. I've had quite a few people who have been following me here on YouTube for years and years finally uh, connect and order own their own private sessions. And it's been wonderful meeting you, you ladies, all ladies so far. And I hope to meet some of you as well. So don't be shy. You know how to find me. Blessings and namaste.